Hello, this is Johan from AppsFresh.com. Today, I want to show you this uh, Swing Chicken Copters uh, game source code that has extra features. And uh, this is uh, a game based on um, Dong and Guyen's uh, game, which is uh, the one after Flappy Bird's um, game. This one was called Swing Copters. Okay, so this time it's a very similar game mechanics. Actually, it's the same game mechanics. This time using chickens instead of using uh, this kind of warm looking character. Okay, so uh, first of all, I want to show you the extra features that this video has that the other source code does not have. Okay, so as you can see, it has the regular functionality such as uh, share on Facebook, Twitter, by mail, and raid the app, and obviously the game center. And this one has uh, in-app purchases. You can actually buy two different characters and remove ads. So let me show you the characters. As of right now, we're using this uh, chicken. So I'm going to press play so you guys can see. Okay, we have this uh, yellowish chicken with a red head. Okay, well, uh, let me play one more time. I'm really not that good at that game, especially on a simulator. Let me try to do any, anything better than that. All right, I actually got, uh, almost got one point. But anyway, we're not here to show you the game mechanics. Uh, if you want that, there's going to be another video on YouTube for that. No problem. So let me show you uh, the other characters. I click on select. And as you can see, you have this character that comes for free and those two new characters. Okay, so if I want to buy this one, I just can just click there and do buy. Okay. All right, it's going to ask me for my password. So I'm going to, I'm going to hide it for a sec. Okay, and I'm going to put it back. All right, so now I have the new character. So let me close the ads. All right, there we go. And as you can see now, we have this bluish character. So I'm going to play with it. And as you can see, it works straight out of the box. All right. Okay, so I can do the same with the other character. I'm not going to buy the other character, but obviously this is the same way. And you can click on remove ads. So as soon as you pay 99 cents to remove the ads, this is going to get rid of all the ads here and the, the ads popping all the time. So I'm going to click on remove ads and buy. Okay. And there we go. All the ads are gone. As you can see, the banner on top is gone and there's not going to be any more ads. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you. So now I want to show you uh, how to change this in the code. That's pretty straightforward. Just go right here in the source code under global.h. And as you can see, if you scroll down, there's three entries right here. Okay. In-app ID one for the first character, the, the, the first character to buy. This is the second character to buy. And this is the uh, remove ads feature to buy. That's it. And when you go to iTunes Connect, okay, what you got to do in iTunes Connect, obviously, is click on um, Manage in-app purchases, and you will create three non-consumable items. Okay. So as you can see, I have three non-consumable. Right now I have five because I had two others for testing, but you just need the three of them as being non-consumable. It's that easy. Okay. Now, many of you are having issues with in-app purchases. Uh, as you can see, it works, as I just showed you. The reason why you're having problems is that you may not have the right bundle ID. So this bundle ID that you see here needs to be the same one that in Xcode, okay? So when you go to Xcode, right here on the project info, you have to have the right bundle identifier. If you don't, you're not gonna make the connection. Also, you cannot test it in iOS 7 and up. You have to go to iOS 6.1 right now. There is no uh, testing for the uh, in-app purchases on uh, iOS 7 and up for now. Um, something else you probably want to know is uh, that if you go to the build settings, you also um, can add right here under the code sign-in your iPhone developer license and your provisioning profile to make sure that you can connect. Sometimes the connection for the in-app purchases might take a half hour to two hours, sometimes four hours for it to be able to, uh, to be, uh, for you to be able to test it. It's just the way it is. I guess the sandbox is a bit slower than on the real one. Okay, 